For this video, I'll be working through the Level 2 2018 Electricity Exam. Question 1. Got a Van de Graaff, got two plates set up, like a sort of capacitor sort of thing. Um, has an electric field strength of 2.5 times 10 to the 6 volts per meter. Um, established between the plates um, when the Van de Graaff is turned on. Calculate the voltage between the plates. So, in your formula sheet, where is our formula sheet? Here is, that's E for electric field, that's V for voltage, D for distance. We are going to try and find the voltage. So we have the electric field, um, E equals V over D. In other words, the voltage is equal to the electric field times this like separation distance, which is going to be 2.5 times 10 to the 6 times 0 0.080 0 meters um, which is equal to 200,000 volts nice big clean number you can leave it or you, that is 3SF but it's sort of hard to tell um, just whatever the, uh, you got a flame you know stick it between the two plates you can read the instructions but the crux of it is Flames are plasma. Plasma is made up of positively and negatively charged ions. Um, it's oversimplification, but whatever. It's saying that the negative um, charged ions move into the left, positively charged ions move into the right, it implies this must be positive um, and this must be negative. You know, positive and negative attract each other, opposites attract, um, for the most part in physics anyway. Right, so. Draw the electric field formed between these two plates, clearly indicating which plate is positive. So we've already sort of established on the other side of the page that the left-hand side was positive. So we're just going to chuck a whole lot of positives down here and a whole lot of negatives down here. Um, and then, okay, that's, that's enough. We are going to get our ruler and we're going to draw our field lines that go positive to negative and I'll keep them fairly spaced out so we don't have to draw too many of them because I still want to go overboard they need to be uniformly spaced that basically just means the same amount of space between each, between each one um, let's try and right so I just finished them off and then you've also got field lines on the boundaries that sort of extend like that and extend like that um, because at the tips here, they sort of act like pseudo point sources because you can pretend like you could just block all this out and, oh, we've got a point source, which is, you know, acts like a semicircle. Yeah, it does, sort of like a semicircle. So that's, that's your electric field. Um, do we label it? Yeah, we'll chuck an E. And it's a vector quantity because it has size and direction. <laughs> right, what else have we got? Sam then extinguishes the candle, causing a smoke trail to appear. The negatively charged smoke particles travel to the left, positively charged go to the right. Yeah. Um, initially stationary and an initially stationary negative charged smoke particle with a charge of 6.52 to the negative 13 coulombs is positioned at A. So it's right about there. We see that. Sweet. Um, it's then accelerated to the left, so it goes that way. Um, due to the electric field which we were given on the other side of the page which hasn't changed. Using conservation of energy, calculate the speed that the 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6, so very very light smoke particle, um, the instant be uh, before it collides with the left hand plate that is not that far away, so 0.4 meters away from point A. So basically you're using conservation of energy. So we're going to pretend, well not pretend, we're going to assume that no energy is lost due to friction. Um, is it asking us to say that? No, we won't. So we're just literally just going to assume it. We're going to assume the potential, uh, the electric potential that the smoke particle has is going to be converted directly to kinetic. So in other words, we're going to say EP is going to be equal to EK. So we no loss of energy in your formula sheet. The only two energy formulas you have are that one there because this is actually electric field. When you've got a delta P, it means energy. Um, and this is just sort of stolen from kinematics. Um, EK. So we're going to make those two equal, which we've just done. Um, in other words, 
QED is going to be equal to half mv squared. And we're trying to find velocity, so we're going to get I'll move or times both sides by two and then divide by a half, uh, divide by m. So I get uh, 2qed divided by m. Now that would be equal to v squared because I'd have cancelled out that m and that half. Um, so now I want to square root both sides as well. So square root and that is equal to v. So v is equal to that which is going to be equal to, oh, I don't know how to fit this all in, there's a lot to fit in, 2 times, what is the charge? The charge is 6.52 times 10 to the negative 13, so that's the charge up there. The electric field is 2.5 times 10 to the 6, the distance is 0 0.04, 0 0.04, divided by the mass is not very big, 4.5 times 10 to the negative 6. Um, and that is all equal to, when you plug that into calculator, 0 0.1699 metres per second negative 1. In other words, 0 0.167 metres per second negative 1. There we go. Right. A strong permanent bar magnet is then placed, oh can we see that, no we can't, is then placed high above the smoke trails, so it's about there. Um, so the North Pole and South Pole are aligned with the magnetic, uh, with the electric field. Um, the negatively charged smoke, tra smoke particles travelling from the candle, they're going from here to here. Right, Sh state two changes not involving the magnet that could be made to increase the velocity of the negatively charged smoke particle. Um... Pause it, write the answer, and then discuss. So I've said reduce the mass of the particle, increase the size of the electric field, and I've added an extra one, increase the charge. They're like the three things you can do. Um, for one of the changes, explain like how or explain the relevant physics of how change increases the velocity of the negatively charged smoke particle. Um, again, I'll just discuss once I'm done. All right, so I've said reducing the mass of the particle, increase acceleration. Um, force is equal to EQ times MA, so EQ, that's the electric field times a charge, um, and then MA, that's just mass times acceleration, Newton's second law. Um, rearranging, the acceleration is equal to the electric field times a charge divided by the mass. Um, this will increase its velocity. Sweet. Um, discuss what we've done to the magnet to affect the motion of the negatively charged smart particle. Um, so I said turn it 90 degrees. So turn the magnet 90 degrees. This will cause the particle to cut the field lines. The particle now experience a force. So basically what it means is, well, if, if you have any um, any charged particle, well, here's, a, here's a positively charged particle. There we go. And it's moving, and, the, and if it's moving inside a, a magnetic field, if it's movement, so this is its velocity. There's velocity V. Oh, my pen's getting a bit... Inky. Um, if its velocity v is in line with the with the magnetic field lines, nothing happens. It just continues on. But if it cuts the field lines, so if it goes at any sort of angle that it cuts the field lines, it experiences a force. And that force is the formula for that is b times the velocity times the charge. So also, if this is stationary inside a magnetic field, you won't experience a charge. Uh, you won't experience a force. Um, Whatsoever. This is kind of a sneaky question, chucking magnetic fields into the electric field question. Because um, in reality, with this north and south magnet, you know, the field lines go like this. Um, if this is a neodymium magnet, which it probably isn't, it's probably one of those rubbish ceramic ones, um, here it's sure, okay, it's in line with it, but yeah, I suppose, yeah, no, here it would be in line, so it wouldn't experience a force whatsoever, but as it gets further away, it would end up actually cutting the field lines and experiencing a force. Um, so yeah, no, you would need to rotate it, but anyway.